Hello everyone, George here and as you can see we are back on F1 Clash as always for another qualifying round. Uh, it is now time for the Winter uh, Grand Prix event and uh, yeah, uh, from by my voice uh, you can tell that I am, I've been, look, I've been sick and uh, yeah, it's been like nearly 10 days since uh, the last video so uh, now I'm much better and uh, yeah, let's just get qualified, let's get through with this um, qualifying ground. Uh, for this winter uh, Grand Prix event, we're getting the Flow and the Hydra, getting a 10% buff, of course, parts don't give uh, a massive, uh, let's say, changes to uh, the car, they, they, do, like, they don't help you. Um, in qualifying sessions, but only drivers do. Unfortunately, Lando Norris uh, is only like at, at level one, can be upgraded at level two, and he's definitely not usable. So we are sticking now with Max and Pierre Gasly. Uh, we managed to upgrade the Hydra up to level five. Uh, one more card needed for the Leviathan to upgrade it up to level two, or up to level five as well, sorry. And uh, Pretty much my setup is good, but it's not gonna bring any massive changes to the way uh, my drivers are acting within the race. Already played my first two races, 60 points. Uh, I just joined uh, Q3, by the way. And uh, yeah, pretty much uh, we are 100% qualified. So let's carry on. Next up is Mexico. Um, first two races, I did face like one equal opponent and one stronger rival, but uh, it is always to see uh, someone weaker than you in matchmaking. This uh, matchmaking will bring huge, um, let's say, uh, changes to uh, the qualifying spots that your drivers do get. So now we are facing someone that is uh, a little bit weaker than us. Let's say there's a 60 points different uh, in my advantage in team score. Um, Mexico is a small track, so uh, an early undercut is always the best, but you just have to wait and see for the start of your drivers. Hopefully um, we can pick up some spots at the start of the race. Uh, you do see even uh, with a 50 points difference, Lando Norris uh, out qualified us. So we're starting on both uh, of my cars with soft tires. Um, let's use, uh, I'm gonna be saving my speed boosters for the end of this Grand Prix if we reach finals on Sunday. So let's use Herald and let's use the Frost for Max. And the only reason I'm using Frost is because we are getting Frost um, from, this, from this Grand Prix event rewards. Uh, Norris in front of us is on the hard compound, so hopefully we can pick up uh, some some like spots uh, It is like kind of a good start, but Gasly is stuck on the outside Which is gonna bring him to losing a lot of positions 100% So I do definitely need him to stay on the inside Which he doesn't All right, so he's on the outside and now he's gonna lose a lot of positions He's down to p20 at the moment. So an early undercut is out of the car, like it is out of the table. Um, I was thinking of going with Max with the early undercut because I'm using the Frost and the five plus five tire management is actually uh, amazing. So now I am obliged to go for four laps with both of my drivers as Gasly. Uh, five laps on the mediums is not going to help him a lot. It's not going to help him pick up uh, some positions, especially around Mexico, where overtaking is kind of difficult uh, in sectors two and three, but the only place you can pick up positions is actually uh, the start finish line. So uh, we can actually like boost a little bit with uh, Max to defend and to avoid losing some, some spots. But all in all, I believe my strategy with Gasly was uh, definitely ruined. It's it's not gonna work 100%. So let's see what uh, points we can salvage from this. Uh, I believe he just lost another position. 
uh, he's down in P21. All right, so he is in P20. Um, I've been uh, a little bit active on Discord for these past days, and I've seen uh, some changes uh, when it comes to consistency. So now uh, your driver has a march, let's say, uh, two numbers in between. He will qualify depending on the um, consistency stat. So for example, level four, um, Max Verstappen will qualify between P14 and P19 or P20, but it depends on the rival you are facing. If you're facing a weaker rival, uh, your max will qualify between P14 and P16. Uh, if you're facing a stronger rival, your max will qualify between P17 and P20, which is a little bit weird to understand. Like, uh, in my opinion, this is not common sense. Um, with the same setup, I should be qualifying, let's say, uh, between some fixed numbers. Let's say level, level 4 max will qualify between... Um, P14 and P16, no matter um, what rival I'm facing. If he's stronger than me, then he will qualify, let's say, between P9 and P12. These are things um, that definitely uh, needs need to be studied. Um, uh, when it comes to, uh, let's say, um, the extra features for the future, uh, I am preparing uh, a part two video uh, as well. But one of the things that I personally believe uh, should be in-game is a pre-race preview. So uh, that way I can know what tires the AI cars or my rival is using before the start of the race. And this helps us as players a lot to build a strategy. So if the, like, if the AI cars in front are starting on, let's say, mediums or hards, then I will start on softs, pick up some positions, go for an early undercut, and then uh, like take advantage of these cars while they are inside the pit lane. And this is a feature that will definitely give an improvement um, to the players, to the strategies, 100%. This game is all about strategies. Uh, of course, sometimes we're, we're, like, we're having some problems uh, in matchmaking, uh, in gameplay, but uh, this game is all about strategy. The one with the best strategy will get the best points. Of course, I'm talking here F2P players. Uh, you're gonna say, uh, if, you're, if you're paid to win, you're gonna qualify in top five every single time. I'm not talking about this. I'm just talking about uh, the normal state of the game. Like F2P player, uh, you're qualifying, let's say in P14, uh, between P14 and P20, let's say. Uh, you still have the chance to pick up decent spots. First of all, to get a preview um, of uh, the tires used by AI cars, by your rival, uh, build a strong strategy, and from there, move on to pick up uh, huge spots. And all of this, by the way, all of this will never be possible unless overtaking is fixed um, I did notice some changes to uh, overtaking in the game itself. Um, it is now a little bit easier, but uh, for example, if I'm on the soft compound, if I'm starting on the soft compound and, and like AI cars in front are on the hard compound, overtaking should be so easy, you know? It doesn't matter what level the driver in front is. Overtaking is all about tires. It's, it's all about the car you are using so if i have the like the fast tires the fastest tires sorry and the car in front is on the hard compound which is the long lasting tire but not the fastest i should be able to overtake it easily i shouldn't be struggling behind it because if i'm struggling to overtake a car on the hard compound then nothing is gonna work even an early undercut isn't gonna work because by the time I go inside the pit lane, he's going to create a huge distance. And second of all, I'm going to be stuck inside the pit lane, for example. And I might lose spots. So now we are on Hungaro Ring for our final race. Um, I'm going to be going for a split strategy. Five laps with Max, four laps with Pierre. Again, Max did get the better start. Um, he, he did like actually uh, pick up some spots. He's up in P10 at the moment. 
Gasly is still in P14. Um, and you can... What just happened here? All right, so... It, it felt like Gasly was held back and then he... He was, like, set free like an arrow, man. He just picked up some spots. Of course, the team orders... Um, will interfere because uh, of the tire changes. But, uh, yeah... Uh, hopefully we can pick up some positions from this point. Um, I didn't get any safety car, by the way, uh, for this whole qualifying round. So I have a feeling that in this race we are getting a safety car. So hopefully it comes early. For example, at the end of lap 3, at the end of lap 4, that would be massive. That would be epic. And uh, our strategy would definitely work. We will pick up so many positions. Um, I'm going to be going for an extra lap with Gasly. And by the way, Alonso is in front of Gasly. And he's on the hard compound. And this is the point I've been talking about just before this race. Like, he's struggling. He's not even able to overtake Alonso. And this is something that you never see uh, in the Formula 1 in real life so this definitely has to change um sometimes another like sometimes your rival if he gives team order your car or your driver your driver is still um being affected by this so we are pitting with ghastly a new set of mediums push to finish now i'm gonna pit with max and hopefully he does pick up alonso i'm honestly struggling behind him so, all right, so we, we did pick him up. Uh, we're, we're like, we're pitting for a new set of softs, uh, which in my opinion should be um, good at the end of the race. But as I said, a preview uh, pre-race is always um, like the best uh, option. So uh, it, would, it would definitely help us. Uh, probably uh, I would change if I knew that and a safety car, all right. <laughs> A safety car now when we are pitting with Max. And yeah, this is not going to help us. All right, luckily for us, Gasly managed to overtake the rival. If Gasly was like three, four seconds behind, he would have lost huge ground. So, uh, I, as I was saying, uh, we did get a safety car eventually. Uh, I know that this is not the best safety car ever. And 100%... Uh, the race is gonna end. Um, it's not gonna end behind the safety car, like, but we will have one lap of racing, and you can see the difference between the, the lead car and the safety car and our Max Verstappen. So, there, so there's no way Max will be picking up any position, especially that he is still uh, again behind Alonso. Uh, Gasly might be picking up some spots. Um, but yeah, as for Max, I don't think he's going to be able to overtake Hamil uh, Hamilton, Alonso. He's literally uh, a defensive rock. Even on hard tires and you are on the soft compound, you cannot overtake him easily. You have to use uh, whatever boost out there just to be able to overtake him. Um, come on, Max. Oh, all right, so... He's not going to overtake him. I believe we're going to be finishing in P11. Gasly is up in P13. Uh, can he pick up any more spot? Uh, the safety car did ruin our race uh, 100%. But it's all good. It's only qualifying ground. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we do make it to the finals this weekend. Um, like 10% for a driver that you don't have is a huge blow for you and you're not gonna be able to get uh, like the minimum amount of points required to qualify so 27 points at the end of this race um, by the way last week I believe in opening round I did get 260 something point and I qualified literally in p49 for the finals so you can see um, that definitely groupings has to change. I've seen people winning champions tier uh, Grand Prix with 269 points, but this is with a low amount of flags. So grouping system definitely needs a change in my opinion. As for this uh, group, 
uh, I'm sure I'm 100% qualified. Hopefully tomorrow we will get uh, a clean uh, opening round. We don't get uh, any problems in our way. Um, so this is gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We are nearly at 2K subs, I believe. I, we need like 90 more subs maybe. I'm not really sure. Uh, yeah, I'll be seeing you tomorrow for the opening round video. Until then, stay safe, take care, and peace.